Hi, this is my second tutorial on a shop game in Visual C++. I've just started this one. So let's start now. So we are in Visual C++. Now the next thing is to add some uh, 16 picture boxes. So that's my first picture box and um, the size 242 by 171 242 171 as the size so I'm going to copy 16 uh, 15 more base and I'll get back to you guys already have four in place so I just drag and copy now I have all my picture box in place I will now double click on the form to have the form load event to just load up the pictures so let's do that now well just before I proceed with the coding here are the pictures that I've cut so I'm gonna select all of these pictures then just cut it and place it within the folder that I'm using actually this is my shuffle folder double click on it and uh, right in here the second folder of the visual C++ I will now paste my images okay. can you guys see that those are the images I intend to use now we now call those images just using codes just close that and open up my Visual C++. So on the form load, I actually want uh, the picture box one background color to be gray, which I'm going to repeat for that. I'm going to repeat for all other pictures. So let's just run the program and you see what I'm talking about. Well, as you can see, the first uh, picture box, the image is gray, so, oh, sorry, the back color is gray, so I'll repeat the same thing for the other images, uh, for the other pictures. So let's go back into form load. So we are within form load. Now all I just need to do is to copy, copy that and paste. Just change the size and the number. Okay, I'm going to comply or build up the system. So far, this is what you guys can see. So the next thing is I'll just fill up the other picture box so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. I will now speed up the system and get back to you later. Now I've completed my decoding of the form load. Okay, the last uh, picture box I'll make that white. Why? I've also imported all the images so let me compile or build up the program and start debug okay guys this is how it all looks now so the picture box has actually loaded up the the images that I caught into it so the next thing is I will now double click on each of these um, picture box and enter the necessary code so that it can slide either diagonally sorry either across or vertically so let's go back into the coding area now that's the code for picture box one 
So I will now go back to the stage and then enter the code. Double click on the second second one is completed. So let's move to the third one. And I'll just repeat exactly the same thing for all the other picture box. Well guys, it's been a long line of codes upon codes. That's my frame three going to four now. Five That's six. Eighty seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, picture box twelve, picture box thirteen, picture box fourteen, my picture box fifteen. And finally, picture box 16. Yeah. So, I will now build up my project and then run it. I'll start the bugging. And there you are, guys. And that's how you create a shuffle game so if you want this code subscribe and I'll for forward the code to you guys so easy if you have any problem with this my previous tutorial my previous tutorial is already on YouTube you can always have a look at that as well to help you in developing yours okay, this is just a very short tutorial so I'm gonna call it a day now I'm very tired guys have a nice day bye uh, but just for the record the image used is mine it's on YouTube if you want a copy of it you'll see it on YouTube on my previous uh, flash tutorial so I'll say bye again.